Hello, people of YouTube. Haven't used that one in a while. I'm here with Ready Set Drone. This is Kelly Shores, and I am Sean Oz. This is the World of Oz, and if you are not familiar with the channel, we mess around with drones, action cameras, 360 cameras, and all of that fun stuff. Electric skateboards. In the Rocky Mountains. Although today we are not in the Rocky Mountains, as you might be able to tell. We are here in Austin, Texas, visiting my good buddy with the Skydio 2 drone, and they have just done an update that will make the landing track the Skydio symbol. I know that a lot of drones use a combination of GPS and the camera, like an actual visual marker, to land on things. It recognizes this and then keeps it centered and tries to land on the case. Now, I'm pretty skeptical because I think what's going to happen is it's going to kind of clip the case or land kind of sideways or something like that. I don't see how it's going to do it. I just went out on a boat the day before they did this update and I couldn't land it. I went out there and tried again and again and the I'm thing really sorry the I didn't see that. Oh, it was horrible. The drone thought that the boat was an obstacle and I was an obstacle because we were drifting. It was very windy and every time I tried to get it close to me, I couldn't get it anywhere near the boat to be able to actually land it. And if I went up higher, like 20 feet plus, the boat was drifting so fast, by the time I hit land, it was already gone from the spot that uh, it needed to land. The at, boat was at gone. At what point did you start freaking out? Uh, when I got to about two minutes left in the battery. Yeah. And that's when we were like, go to the shore, go to the shore. Yep, landed on the shore. Yeah. If, if all else fails, landed on the ground. So not only are we gonna see if it can land on this case and the symbol, we're gonna put this on a skateboard and move it and see if it can- Slowly at first. Yeah, yeah, and see if it can land on a moving target. Make sure you stick around for this entire video if you have a Skydio or if you're just curious if this will even work. So the Skydio 2 is a little different than some of the other drones you might be familiar with where it can actually fly with just your phone, with a controller with your phone and something called a beacon. This is the beacon, also they call it a magic wand and we're gonna use all three methods to see if it can lock onto this and when we find which one does it the best, then we're gonna start moving it on the skateboard to see if it can track and land on a slightly moving object to simulate something like a boat. We're gonna start with the phone first. So with the app on the phone, you can hit begin flight. It's gonna sync all the little autonomy engines that the Skydio has because it does have six cameras spread all over it, three on top, three on bottom, that don't actually film anything for us to see. It's just for the drone to see the world around us, which is what makes it avoid obstacles in such a great way. But you just hit hand launch and hold it. And it goes up and you should be able to turn it depending on how you set it so that it uh, can be flown with the remote just sort of like a regular remote control. We're gonna go ahead and go up with it and then you have turned the gimbal down which is weird because it's reversed on your phone. You go down it goes up and vice versa. We've got the case in sight. It's a little not centered at all and I want to try it not centered. Don't want it to have perfect conditions by any means. Hold the land and if it works then it should find the case. All right, so that was a fail. I think we're gonna have to have the case a little bit more centered than what we did that time, because as you saw, it was really not even close to center. So let's try it again. We'll go up. We'll rotate the camera down. Go ahead and fly forward a little bit. You're like, okay, that's too far. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and hold the land. And yeah, I notice it. Look at the little orange ring right there. It's all flying its own. I'm doing nothing. Wow. Holy. Wow. Wow. Dead center. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that was uh, impressive. Here's going to be the problem. On a boat, you're still going to be drifting. It's going to be really hard to get it to be that centered. So what I think I want to do is throw it in the controller. Because when I'm flying with the boat, I'm usually going to be flying with the controller with this. And we'll try it that way where I have a little bit more control and I can go a little higher up even yep. and, and start out that way. That was pretty impressive. That was incredibly impressive. Look at that. So this is a, it's sort of an aftermarket controller, but it's not an aftermarket controller. It's the Parrot Anafi's controller rebranded for Skydio. Hopefully, Skydio, if you watch this, 
you make your own controller that's just as nice as the damn Skydio. Maybe for this one, but at least for the Skydio 3. We're gonna go ahead and launch it now, fly it a little further away, then I'm gonna manually bring it back. This is not a return to home thing as far as I know. This is a, hey, you manually gotta sort of get it above, put the gimbal down, and then hit hold to land. And if you don't, then it doesn't seem to wanna find the case. If somebody knows differently and they've had luck with it with return to home doing this already, let me know in the comments below and I'd much appreciate it. Taking off. This time we're gonna go up a little further away and just do a quick little flight and bring it back. So we're on a boat, we're flying. Get it back to the boat as quick as we can. We're running out of battery. We're over the boat, quickly make the gimbal go down. And it goes so slow. Hold to land, and it's landing. And it found it. And it's moving. So far, so good. <laughs> it's sort of a hard little <laughs> drop in. Yeah, it's just like, all right, here I am. Boom. I'm going to drop that last 10 inches. But it works. Still not quite sure if we had drifted, if it would have still done it. So we'll try that in a minute with the skateboard. I do want to go ahead and just go a little bit of ways. And just for fun, hit return to home. Just, just see to if see. It, see if it sees it. Just to see. I've heard it doesn't work, but let's find out. Let's find out right here, right now. Begin flight. This drone's so damn cool. It's cool looking, too. Just go ahead and take off from there. That way, return to home is to there. Now, this wouldn't really work on a boat because we would have drifted, but I am really curious. Oh, no, I'm going to hit a tree. No, I'm not. <laughs> it goes right around it gonna hit a cow. We can do launch point or phone. So we're gonna do launch point for this particular one. If you're on a boat, you would say phone and then it would find you. So it could work if this works. Oh, please work. Well, it's a little far away from. Huh. Is it in the, is it seeing it? Is it in the camera? No, camera hasn't even turned down. It's just, so does return to home not land on this thing? Conclusion is that return to home doesn't actually bring it down to land it. It will bring it back to your phone if you're on a boat or something like that, or to your takeoff but point. Hovers, right? But it seems to just want to hover. Cause that's the key. You have to be able to put the gimbal down before you hit land. If you hit land before the gimbal's down, it won't do it. So there's the gimbal down. You can see it's sort of in the middle, just off to the side. And it's already locked on with the orange screen. So it should change and center it pretty nicely. Let's see if the shadow affects it. That's impressive. All right, I think skateboard time. I think so too. So I am still curious if it'll work with beacon. I'm gonna guess that it won't because you can't control the gimbal to look down on the beacon. So I don't even know if it's worth testing on the beacon, but it is worth testing putting it on the skateboard and then moving it slowly to see if it can sort of go with it. I love edgeless phones, but for flying drones, yeah, they're sort of a pain in the ass. Let's go ahead and take it up. And we'll pretend like it's a good 20 feet or so or more. This is the remote for the Yee Play skateboard. So it's not just gonna fancily move on its own. It's not magic. I am putting it in slow mode and we're gonna slightly move it like this. If we could get it at that speed, I would be mind blown. Then the boat wouldn't be an issue at all. We've got the Skydio up. I'm angling the gimbal down. And it sees the skateboard as something it can track. That's interesting. It's actually what it was for a second trying to track the skateboard, like it was something it could track. Let it start coming yeah. down. Like, let it, let it lock on first and then start moving it. Hold the land right now. And it's coming down. Now it's locked onto it and now we're gonna move it did it move are you kidding me oh i think i made it lock oh did i make it are you kidding me no way no way i'm gonna let it have this if it can still land on it i'm not gonna move it again 
What? What? No way. That moved at least five feet. Yeah, yeah. And it took it a second to figure out what was going on, but it figured it out. That's impressive. Now, I don't quite know if that'll work on a boat, but I think if you painted that symbol real big on the bow of your boat, you'd be in good luck with that. I got to do that again just for fun. That was... So I'm going to try to do it this time with a more steady, slow movement, like if it was being pushed, your boat being pushed right, in the wind right. or something. So we're going to hold to land. And once it locks in, boom, it's locked in. I'm going to try to start moving it. Oh, too fast. You know what? It's trying. I can't believe it's still following. Now pull it back the other way. <laughs> Skydio. Good job, really good job. I am mind blown at the technology that Skydio is putting into their drones. It's the excitement that I've had when I first started flying drones six, seven years ago. They were so new and it was so different and it was so much fun. And over time, you've flown so many, it just you get sort of desensitized to the excitement again. And this has brought it all back, to me at least. What do you, I mean, Well, ah! that was incredible to see. And basically, you gotta realize what it's doing is, it's calculating, can I make that landing without, without basically, you know, catching an edge or whatever. So it makes that calculation. Sean moves the board, it makes the calculation again, and it just kind of figures out where it is. And at the point where it knows it can land or it calculates that it statistically it's gonna got a really good shot at it, it just drops. Yeah. It just drops about 10 inches and bounces right there on the thing. Now we talked about if we took this symbol and painted it, I mean, hell, this is black top here. Right, you can paint it on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Here's the big question. If I tattooed it on my palm, <laughs> Could I hand catch it and move my hand around and it would still land in my hand? He's, they call him Skydio Man. <laughs> Skydio is everywhere coming to him. Skydio, if you're listening, lots of free products for life. I'll tattoo it on my palm and uh, never mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. The other thing I'm impressed with on this is how fast it does everything. Yeah. It, 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 really, it really calculates and moves so quickly compared to other drones, which I feel like are often more hesitant with their AI. Oh, definitely, definitely, 100%. This thing, the technology in this is exciting because it, it it's sort of a glimpse into what's to come and that's exciting agreed man now, another thing i was thinking because of the the issues i had in the boat with this moving like that it still had a little bit of a hesitation but the big catch on the boat was i couldn't get it close enough to me to actually do it and then if it was too high it would still go down and i'd be in a different spot however as you saw on the skateboard it moves slightly with the skateboard so it would come down low enough that i could just grab the damn thing and still with, catch with the it tattoo on his on hand, hand. <laughs> yeah. and catch it on the boat. The limiting factor to me seems like the fact that it has to be fairly low to the ground before it sees that with yeah. the camera. And so if you had, I mean, literally, if you did take a landing pad, you know, one of those pop out pads and paint that on it, uh, you might have the ability if it was bigger to have it up higher so you actually have more range thanks everyone for coming i appreciate all that come to the channel and join in the communication down in the comments below because that is what this is really about it's about growing a community we all like the same kind of things and that's a great way to connect with each other thanks again and we will see you in the next one yeah love it when the props spin in the wind like that I'm so easily entertained. <laughs> <laughs> I love this job. Sippity sippity champagne. So, I'm so, it's only 10 a.m. and Sean's already been drinking a little, so. <laughs> I... <laughs> and now look at you. You're a YouTube star. Yeah. F you, bullies. <laughs>